Guys, we're going to be doing a dating app review. Um, Eric, go full screen while we do this. Next one, Eric. All right. So she says, let's chat about anime and manga, mental health and tattoos, your last spur of the moment trip. Next one. That's always fun on the first date talking about our mental health trauma. Mm -hmm. All right. My BFF's take on why you should date me. She's in Is this no, different BFF? All right. She's intelligent, funny, encouraging, and deep. This girl is passionate, nurturing, and her thir third eye what? is open. A spiritual soul grounded by an earthly body, which may, I say, beautiful, curvy, and flexible. Ha. Okay. Uh, 24, 5 foot 1. Um, next, Eric. Okay. Uh, next. Oh, okay. She drinks sometimes. She smokes weed, and she's omitted if she does drugs. Do you do? Huh? You do drugs? It's omitted on the... Yes. Methamphetamine? No, absolutely oh, okay. not. All right. Uh, she's a volunteer coordinator. And next one. Uh, this is her alter ego. Okay. There you go. There you go. Next one. Are you a dog person? This one must have been a video, so it's a little blurry, but I guess, is this a, you with your dog? Yeah. Okay, nice. Next. I'm looking for genuine connections. I don't want to idealize or fit someone into what I'm looking for. I want to find genuine people who can respect me as an individual and aren't just trying to fulfill their boredom. Okay, next. Genuine connections. Okay, next. Going out looking good and hyping up other bad bitches. I love to go dancing or even taking up a new creative project. Okay, next. Is this Monka TOS? Okay, next. Post Coffee Me. All right. Uh, that's J Dog <laughs> chat. Uh, do you swipe left or do you swipe right on J Dog? Um, Eric, you can go back. Swipe left or swipe right. Um, Okay. <laughs> All right. Chat, you guys are brutal as usual. Um, okay. Uh, so wait, one question though. So Eric, can you pull up the, the genuine prompt? I just had a question on this. Uh, go back to the, uh, the prompt of hers where it was like what looking I'm for looking genuine for. connection. Yeah. Go ahead, pull it up. I know. Yeah, this one. Okay, you're looking for genuine connections, genuine people. Um, can you go back to? Okay, oh, this is, okay. All right, that's fine, that's fine. I, I don't know what I was looking for. Wait, so okay, you said, what, like, how do you define genuine? Like someone who's not trying to fit me into a box, someone who's open to an actual connection, a bond. Um, so far, my opinion and my experience has been if we're not romantic, like, romantically involved, then the connection itself is not worth pursuing. And I'm just not looking for someone who is just trying to be perfect i would say like someone who's real someone, someone who can be honest who's real and honest okay don't please don't take offense to this please don't take this the wrong way i <laughs> so the photo on the dating apps that you mm -hmm. posted like they're super heavily filtered right mm -hmm. full face of makeup like mm -hmm. do you think it's fair of you to ask for someone who's genuine or real, but like how you're representing yourself on the dating apps is like, here's me with a f like full face makeup filter. Like, do you think that that's being ingenuine? For me, I'm an artist, so this mm -hmm. is just how I present myself. So I, my personality and how I speak speaks for itself. So I don't, I don't find, I want someone who can look past basically everything that 
I know people look at me like, oh, she's a hoe because of the way she dresses, the way she. I don't think. I don't think that. Well, I'm not saying about you, but in general, yeah. I I know that's the or I pres- I throw out there. So, someone who's genuine is not going to like see my makeup and be thrown off by that. And I've gone to full on dates without makeup, like just to surprise people. Like it's mm-hmm. it's not something that I constantly have on. I probably. I probably like do it like once once a week, but um, I like showing off my work because I do it so like not that often. Sure, yeah. I guess I don't know. My my question is, and I, I we could open it up to the whole panel is, um, I don't I don't think it's a surprise to any of us that for both men and women, something that we look for, you know, we we are making sort of assessments of someone's physical attractiveness on the dating apps. Both men and women are looking for partners that are typically physically attractive. And so I I guess my question is, when it comes to the dating apps, if you are posting heavily filtered or like full face makeup, if you don't have at least like one or two photos where it's just kind of like less, there's less makeup or less filter, do you think it's, you're sort of misrepresenting your physical appearance when physical appearance is something that's super important to both men and women? Mm, I've dated guys all different body types, so I don't really see it that way. I do understand that is the, not stereotype, that is like the stigma, that is what goes on, but I'm very full body positivity, so Mm -hmm. I don't don't view guys any differently, or women any differently for being on the Okay, let let me ask you guys this. Would you take issue with a guy lying about his height on a dating app? Like, would that be wrong of a guy to do? Because a lot of women care about height. It's it would happened just be before. funny. <laughs> Here we'll go. Gabby? I wouldn't be mad. I'd just kind of be like, why'd you lie about it? Okay. Thoughts? Yeah, it would just be more funny because, like, <laughs> like as a girl, maybe you could... Or, like, there's certain things you can lie about. Maybe your eye color, you could throw some contacts in. But, like, you lie about your height, like, you show up in person, like, you're not that tall. <laughs> like, yeah. It's simple as that, you know? Sure. So. Nicole? Nicolette? My bad. Um, That's not your real name, is it? Nicolette? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Is it? Yeah. Okay. But, um... <laughs> She's if someone reading. lied about Yeah, like on a dating height, app, right? You're on a dating app. I'd be like, and you're guy. weird for that. Okay. If it's like a huge difference. It's like lying about your dick size, like can find out anyway sure. and i feel like filters different everyone uses a filter these days even men i mean i'm not on that side of the dating apps but i i can't imagine that the amount of men who are using filters is approaching the amount is anywhere approaching how frequently women use filters on dating apps and men don't wear makeup broadly speaking so you never you probably almost never see men in wearing makeup on dating apps, for example. Maybe they should. Well, I don't know about that, but... <laughs> Maybe they'll get more dates. <laughs> but, so, it, do you guys think it, sh- it would be okay if guys just start lying about their height on dating apps? I know, I mean, men already are lying about it, but do you think it's kind of like evens the playing field since women are kind of misrepresenting their own physical appearance as far as wearing makeup and using filters? Do you think that's like a fair trade-off? I think they lie about everything else, or not not everything. <laughs> they but a lie lot about of their things. job. True. Right, exactly. Guys, so. okay, guys in the chat, change your height, add three inches to your height, not the other thing. Um, t- say you have a better job than you actually have, went to a better school. Like I don't know, that's kind of fair, don't you think? Or I think it would be like if they just altered the picture they uploaded. They altered the picture. Like, wh- she's using filter and makeup. Yeah. Him lying about his height would be, like, the information that he's entering into the dating app. Yeah. So oh, maybe so if, like, he a- took his picture and blew it up so he, like, was taller, taller in the picture, then that would be similar. <laughs> okay, okay, so you're saying... She, yeah, like... Okay, so you're saying that what I'm saying is not comparable. No, you're, you're typing in, oh, I'm this tall. But, like, if she's uploading a picture you know, with a filter or with makeup so he could upload a picture and maybe, like, put a filter on it or make him taller in the picture, then that would be comparable, but, like... But, well, men can't... We can't really get away with wearing makeup in the same way that women wear makeup. 
I think it's coming like more <laughs> like mainstream that some men are wearing makeup now, mm. especially Korean culture. They and a lot of Asian cultures, men wear makeup. <laughs> One time I was messing around with this guy, and he <laughs> did wear like like um, concealer and stuff. Mm -hmm. He wore concealer. Yeah. What did you think of that? Uh, I was just like, well, at least he has like makeup wipes and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't turned off by that? I was a little taken aback, but I, was, I wasn't, like, weirded out or anything. I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? How old was this guy? He was older than me. He was, like, 32 or something. 32 and yeah. wearing concealer? Yeah. That's a yikes. 